Today I'm meeting Eric. On the phone, he told me he has a house full of fine furniture and unique pieces. I'm really excited because I love sales with character. What's your situation here? You're looking at a mix here of bedroom, living room, and den furniture. And everything looks like it's in excellent condition. The reason I'm selling all these items is that my mother passed away last year, and she and my father had collected a lot of items, and we're hoping that Carrie can help sell it for us. Anything in particular in here that's a special piece? That was my mom's writing desk. We'll unearth it and I'll inspect it a little bit closer, too, when I can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> This monster desk was designed by Eric's parents 30 years ago. Kari will need to find a buyer with a big house and an even bigger wallet. Great room, great man cave. Wow, OK. The large metal suit of armor. Can't say that I've sold a suit of armor yet. It's not every day you walk into a room and see a suit of armor. It's from the early 19th century, but it was used as a movie prop in the film St. Joan with Gene Seabird. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. I'd really like to get some expert eyes on this so we can determine its value, because this could be all over the place. Nice There's, set of chairs. There's yep. a little bit of wearing on the cushion here. Yeah, it just gives a little character. I think people like that on a leather chair. These leather club chairs are from the 1940s, and collectors love them. Their low-slung arms and worn leather will be a unique selling point in the sale. OK, <laughs> it's the room of boxes. There's a lot of boxes in here. I think I'll wait and <laughs> have uh, my team and I come in to do that. <laughs> No more boxes, right? The machine room. My dad was a gun collector, and this is where he'd work on the pieces. You have to get him out of here because you're selling me a house, correct? Yeah, the realtor has told me that they need to go, but I'm not holding out <laughs> a lot of hope for that. But Kari needs to brush up on her metalwork if she's going to shift this mill and lathe. They may not be pretty, but they are worth a ton. Eric's estate doesn't stop in the basement. He also owns a military plane that he's thinking of selling. It could make this estate sale huge. That's sweet. We only flew it maybe 10 or 11 hours, and then it was preserved or pickled, as we say. I uh, got my pilot's license, but I never flew in an open cockpit. That's, really? That's got to be an experience. Well, you know, I buy and sell a lot of different things. One of the things I haven't sold yet is an airplane. There you go. Wow. I feel a little bit like Amelia Earhart in this. It's such a simple dash, you know? It's super cool. <laughs> So this is the plane that your dad learned to fly in and you learned how to fly in. I'm not sure if I can sell this airplane. I really have to think long and hard about it. But I happen to know somebody who would love to take a peek at this. Oh, cool. You can tell us what it's worth. I see we do that and you can make a decision and <laughs> go from there. My strategy is to bring in an appraiser to find out what the plane is worth. It might convince Eric to sell. I'm anxious to hear what he has to say. This sale has it all. An airplane, a suit of armor, and a room full of boxes. Kari will have her work cut out pricing all of this. It's time for Kari and her team to get to work. They need to organize the house and research all the pieces. Oh, I see something I like over here. Of course yes. you do, Paula. Oh. oh my God. I love this. What would you put for price on that? For you? Yeah. <laughs> for One me. million dollars. Mm. Let me think about it. <laughs> Right in the middle? Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a great table. Oh, that's cute. Looks like an original decal on the top, too. Solid wood. Somebody will snap this up. I think I found a chair that matches that secretary. Take a look at this. Oh, yeah, it looks like that'll match really nicely. Any idea what kind of price you want to put on it, or you want to make them a pair? I think we should price them separately. That's a Baker chair. Local Michigan company Baker has been making high quality reproductions for over a hundred years. These handmade pieces are built to last a lifetime and should fetch top dollar at the sale. And more stuff. More. I'm a little stressed that we're not going to get this done in time because when you have a lot of research, you have to make sure everything is fairly priced. Kind of cool. More china. Look, this has never been used. Still has the whole packing material on it. And this is all Minton. This is really nice. Minton has been making china sets in England for over 300 years. They were popular with diplomats and dignitaries who only dined with Minton tableware. Today, collectors will now pay good money to eat in style. We uncovered about 10 different sets of dishes. When we had to research the sets, I was blown away how expensive they are. 
After hours and hours of sorting, Kari and her team have finally emptied every box, unearthed every treasure, and are almost ready to go. I'm ecstatic about this sale. This is going to be a big number sale. My estimate for the estate is 10 to 15,000. It's exciting. It's day one, and after hours of waiting, customers are busting to get in. <laughs> We've been here since five and we're freezing. <laughs> Not really collectors. We just kind of furnish our house with this stuff, you know? A little bit here, a little bit there. Yep. With the little treasures that everybody's getting rid of, and we just put them in our house. Yeah. There's so much going on. We're trying to get ready. We want to make sure we didn't miss anything that doesn't have a price on it. Hopefully, the sound of cha-ching will keep me going today. I've been waiting out here for an hour. So. I'm from Florida. It's 88 degrees there. Oh, it's not 88 it. My degrees toes here. are popsicle. This is a really nice high-end sale. People are not going to come in and pay a dollar. If somebody tries to lowball me today, I'm just going to lay it on them. Ready? Woo! Take it home. See the carrots I've shown on top? Would you like to get that for your tea parties in your room? Yeah. Okay, I'll get that for tea parties. So you can't stop thinking about this, huh? I don't know. There's something really sweet about it. The, the color in it is beautiful. I think it's perfect for a little tea party for your girls. You have 15 and 45. Can we just do an even 100? Oh, I can go that low. Okay, what about? It's our first day. There's a million people here. How about one, uh, 120? Okay. Well, that sounds good. That sounds right. good. Thank you. You're welcome. I saw you ladies eyeballing the secretary in this chair. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I have a den that needs a small chair in it. That's the perfect chair for that. And it's Baker. Yep. The label's on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. It was 500. Well, we're going to certainly think about it. OK, you can always leave your name and number if you're really serious and you really want it. I think I am. We're going to continue to look around All right, and see enough. what else you have. I'm holding firm on prices because this is great stuff and it's still early. Kari's day isn't over yet. She's hoping to increase her sales total by selling this movie memorabilia. Before she can put it in the sale, she needs a specialist to put a price on it. I love finding out what things are worth. It's the best part of my job. Well, what we have here is a classic uh, medieval suit of armor. This is a clamshell helmet, which opens and closes from the top here. You got the Bristol sword. Have you ever seen one like this, all intact? Not all intact. To find a complete set uh, makes this a unique piece for a collector. Mm -hmm. And with the provenance of it being in the Joan of Arc movie, adds a lot to its value. What are you thinking? In our expert opinion. I think you have a $15,000 suit wow. of armor here. Wow, that's great. That's awesome. That's great. I like that's that. Awesome. Thank you. It's a lot more than I guessed. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would be up there, but $15,000, that's fantastic. I think Eric is really happy. Kari is going to advertise the suit of armor online and put it in the estate sale. Back at the sale, bargain hunters are still piling in, and the suit of armor is back to its rightful place, standing guard in the library. There is so much here. A lot of the feature items haven't even been looked at yet, but it's still early. Got yeah, exact change? I got my exact change. You, thank you so thank much. You. How about 25? How about yes? OK. <laughs> You ladies are looking awfully comfortable we in here. Are very comfortable, Carrie. Aren't those great chairs? I like that they're already kind of worn in. So what do you think? You think you want to take them home? We'd like to work a little bit with you on the price. OK, we're asking 400 each. What if we bundle them together and take both for 600 How about 650 for the pair? We're going to think about All that. All right, think about it. You can ponder and then let me know. OK. OK. Sorry, get down here. Hold on, we got a situation. The sewer is backing up in the basement. Where is it? It's just... Oh, uh, uh, gross. Yeah, we can't use any drains anymore. That's toilets, sinks, anything. I can't have customers walking in poo. Never a dull moment. Sorry, folks, we have a little water emergency, so we're you do what you're gonna do. moving stuff around. The drain problem has been difficult. I lost about a quarter of my sales space and valuable time. 
How did the line get this long this quickly? I was distracted by the drain problem, so I've missed some opportunities to sell things. I thought I had the leather chairs sold in the office. They told me they really wanted them, and then they disappeared. It's so frustrating because they're a great deal. So are we clear for takeoff Absolutely. in terms of the flushing? Working fine now. All right, excellent. Thank you. Yep. That's the one I want. The one that's lit up. Oh, that's okay. I can unplug it for you. You don't right. want the matching monkeys? I mean, they match. Check it out. I know, I know. I Where else are you going to get a pair of monkey lamps? Uh, probably not too many places. Um, <laughs> Take them home. <laughs> You're a good salesperson. Well, thank you. I sure hope my wife likes them. <laughs> you guys are buying a lot. I'll do 60 for the, uh, for the, for the drapes. OK. Uh, we've been here since 5, which was um, six hours ago. Yeah. And we are almost done. I About think. another hour. Yeah, probably. About another hour. What do you think? Help me. I don't know. I can't decide. Maybe the kitchen table. Maybe the kitchen table. Maybe the chairs. <laughs> Maybe the chairs. But this is cute, cute though. It is really cute. I mean, it is that cutesy little look and it's after. airy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they come in and they say, oh, we like the kitchen table, we're like, we're waiting for a price. So, so yeah. back yeah. off. <laughs> Okay, I'll Thank take you. that up front for you. All right, I like yeah. it. So how much did you spend? I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> we're adding right now. So our biggest spenders today were Georgia and Heather. They were so sweet. So girls, your total is 1502. Oh my god, you are so good. I stand in the garage waiting for you because I'm probably around 15. We bought two roosters, six pillows, a painting, a vase. You name it, we bought it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Ugh. Wipe all this stuff up. Don't wanna puke. Mo was not very helpful at all. I'm here covered in bags, and Mo, so lovely, just holds out the bag like Vanna White. Poop doesn't bite, Mo. <laughs> Why would I want to get down there? It's poo on the floor. Nobody wants to clean that up. I still haven't sold the Baker chair, which is a little disappointing. It's a great collector's item. I just need the right buyer to come along. It's the last few minutes of the sale. We're gonna do our final tally. I made $6,600 today. It's a good start, but I'd hope to shift at least a couple more big items and make some more money. But there's always tomorrow. Kari has to step away from the sale and head to the airport for some important business with Eric and his dad's old plane. I've been around planes, I've flown planes, but I've never put a value on them. If she has any chance of persuading Eric to part with his plane, she needs this valuation to be sky high. If I uh, get a surprise with the airplane like I did with the armor, maybe I will, but I don't know. This is one of the nicest planes I've seen uh, restored like this. Pretty much new engine, all new coverings. The interior is beautiful. It's been restored. In my assessment, this plane is worth $108,000. Uh, yeah, it gets exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of history, and you've done a fantastic job on it. It got harder and harder for me to part with the plane. It's too much of a connection to my dad, and uh, I just, I can't do it. Selling the plane would have pushed the potential for this sale well over $100,000. I guess sentiment won over money today. Kari's on her way to an antiques contact in nearby Toledo. She's come here today to hunt for treasures that she can repurpose and later sell. Hey, Greg. Hey. When my inventory is getting a little low on items that I want to refurbish, I usually come out here because you never know what you're going to find at Greg's place. So, Greg, where'd you get all this stuff from? <laughs> uh, I acquired the contents of a flea market. Okay. I now have more stuff that I know what to do with. <laughs> want to buy a bowl? <laughs> there are so many crates and boxes here filled with random stuff. I could spend literally probably three days straight here picking. What do we have here? Found a treasure. Greg, what's the story with this rocking chair? I think that's an old walnut chair, but it has good bones. It's still a very solid chair. It just <sighs> needs to love. Well, you better nice. believe it has good bones. It's a Selig, so it's a great piece. This battered old Selig chair is a diamond find. 
hailing from Denmark, these mid-century pieces are hugely popular amongst collectors who love their unique style. With a bit of love, it could be worth a small fortune. So what do you think you want for it? Mm, how about 75? I think that's a little high. This one needs some sweat equity involved. Yes. Well, kind of rare, unique, what do you think? Um, how about 50 bucks? Oh, uh, deal. This sweet Selig rocker is so cool, I cannot wait to make that look pretty. It needs a lot of work, but it'll probably worth about a thousand bucks when I'm done with it. Kari needs to focus on selling as it's day two of the estate sale and the crowds are gathering, eager to get in. So yesterday we made $6,600. I want to make that amount today or maybe beat it. We haven't sold one set of china yet. It's my goal to sell at least two or three sets of china today. We're going to do a little bit of discounting today to get some things out the door. There's a lot here. I've got to get it sold. Were you asking about this chair? Yeah. What are you asking for it? Well, it's 500 and we're doing 20% off. OK. How much wiggle room? <laughs> um, 375. You know what? I'll take 375. We're doing 20% off. It's pretty close. Okay, sold. Excellent. I finally sold the Baker chair. I did give him a little more than 20% off because I knew I was close to getting a deal. It's a China extravaganza. <laughs> China can be a bit more difficult to sell at an estate sale for top dollar because you're either getting somebody who may be looking for a set of China or you might be getting a reseller. They're all brand new. They've never even been used. It's a fantastic price though. Are you going to hold it? No, we don't hold unless there's a deposit. No dishes sold to them. Wow. Don't buy that. You want to buy the suit of armor? What are you going to do with it? Well, we're going to put it in some kind of cabinet. But there's some other really cool things you can buy for $10. Did you check out the books yet? Maybe next time. OK, sounds good. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you, too. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. So we're halfway through the sale. Some furniture's been going out the door, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, well, let's get it. Thank you. Thank you. This one, definitely. This is the keeper. Thank you. Perfect. This is really nice. Aren't these adorable ladies? Oh, yes. What will you take for it? Well, we're That's asking three. How about 250 They were packaged, um, never been used. That sounds like a good deal. They're yours. First set of china sold. Yay. Yeah. It's just perfect. It's not something you can find in a store, I don't think. The suit of armor is probably too niche for this sale. I was hoping that somebody might see it online and make me an offer. You never know. It's not over until we close the doors. Kari's taking a break from her estate sale to focus on her rock and refurb project. She's going to transform this $50 chair and increase its value by 2,000%. I see the potential to bring it back to life and make some money. So I'm going to have to sand that all the way down, take it down to the raw wood. We're going to get a little love and bring it back to life. So my next step, I'm going to put a great stain on this piece. It's going to look spectacular. This is such a beautiful piece of wood, you never would want to paint this piece. This rocker is going to be rocking. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to attach the webbing for the cushion. I want to go ahead and thread this through to give it just a little extra added support. So this rocker is ready for a cushion. So once we have the cushion in the store, the rocker is going to be ready to sell. A mid-century modern collector is going to go crazy for the sell leg rocker. Back at the house, it's late in the day, and the sale shows no sign of letting up. The last hour, there's been a flurry of activity, lots of stuff going out the door. I want to sell as much as I can in the next hour and a half. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, I heard somebody down here wanted some pricing on tools. Yeah, that'd be me. Kari, I'm okay. really interested in this mill. Um, what is the asking price for this? 1200 What, $1,000 be out of the question? Yeah. I think he's pretty much stuck on the $1,200 price. Pretty stuck Mark. on $1,200? It's a steal at that price. 
tell you the truth, I think. Got sold. a deal? Yes, Sweet. we do. Twelve hundred dollars cash. Work. Love cash. Thank you. I didn't think we were gonna sell those machines during this sale. We sold them both. I didn't expect this thing to be in such a good shape. So you're happy with the thousand dollars? Oh man, are you kidding me? I, I couldn't be happier. Good. I held out for the full price of those tools. They were happy to pay the prices, and they're priced fairly. I had another great day. We sold a fair amount of the big ticket items, and all kinds of great stuff went out the doors the last two days. Woo, doggies. It's not too shabby.